Link 2012. Welcome back to part four of this epic series. Last episode, we conquered the fourth dungeon, and right now we're on to the fifth one. And between episodes, I didn't really do much. I did a little bit of inventory organization. Didn't take me more than a couple of minutes. Because uh, we're ready to roll. Last dungeon was really small. Uh, we forgot to place the wool last time. Make sure to do that. Boom. Four out of 16 wools complete. All right. So the next dungeon should be up on that hill that we saw earlier. So a couple of episodes ago, we attempted to go up this hill and we had a lot of trouble there were some ghasts it was really annoying well the reason that it was really annoying was because there's actually a dungeon there we're gonna go check out that dungeon um, or maybe it's right there i think it's right there actually so let's go check this out see if we can find anything and maybe even explore the mountain a little bit if we have extra time yes this is dungeon five three peaks Gives us some gear right off the bat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this speed potion on myself. That way we can get a bit of movement going right off the bat. I hear some angry puppers. So let's see what we can do. Okay, we've got this going on. All right. Oh, snap. Man, this guy is... Oh, this this reason bad weapon. Got him. What did what do these signs say? If you were not infected or a mutant, be careful. There are lawn mi landmines on the paths to the peaks. Interesting. I wonder who that bomber was. Cricket. Oh, nice. Get some jump boost. All right, one second here. I need to back off. First of all. I need to make sure that these creepers don't explode. Thankfully, we've got a really handy bow. Normally, I don't really care for bows in Minecraft. However, right now, we don't do a ton of damage on our own. So it is nice. It's quite nice. All right, there you are. Get in there. Oh, boy. I was surprised it didn't explode. This is This house is rigged to detonate. Warning by a survivor. Whoever you are, don't climb these mountains. There is only death up there. Three other survivors and I used all the TNT from an abandoned military outpost to surround the Three Peaks and protect ourselves from the monsters. And it worked, but not for long. <laughs> we never suspected that the resulting radiation would bring flying white monsters into this world. It's not safe there anymore. Too many fire-spitting ghosts and our own landmines. Turn back, Traveler. We've left this place in search of a better safe house and you should do the same. Well, unfortunately, there's a monument item here, which I need. That's what I'm going to grab. And I don't care how many flight ro uh, white floaty ghosts there are. I will conquer them all. Is there another spawner here? No, okay. All right. I'm going to check this real quick, see if there's anything. Nope. Oh, snap. No, no, no. Okay. That is useful intel. Um, you don't hit the creepers. You got to hit the the zombie. Because the creepers don't take knockback. The zombies do. Creepers should be faster to kill, though. Okay, so we can go that way. There's actually diamonds over there. All right, cool. So we could grab... We could go this way too. Let's go this way first, because I want to work my way around here. Man, gotta be cautious too. Gas spawners are interesting. They can be tough to work with. All right, let's move up here. Please don't spawn. Okay, you're just worried that that would be a ghast. Could have been the spawner still. Oh, this is why I wish I had still had the cricket, cricket stuff. Nope. Nuts. All right. Well, the items are still there. Uh, let's go grab the cricket 
juice or whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Cricket station. That's what it's called. The cricket station. So we just gained jump boost. Alright, let's go. Jump two blocks high. Very handy. Right, if we can get up here fast enough, we won't have to worry about creepers. Get away. Get out of here. Thank you. Goodbye. Protection one, feather falling one. Okay, good. That's the current boots I have. There's also a chest right there that we missed. Uh, we could head over this way. Oh, we did explore that peak already. We haven't explored this section right here. I believe I see a chest right there. And we do need to check that peak out yet. So let's go that way. Let's grab this first, though. Nothing too handy. Actually, coal's always good. Because that means more torches for us. More torches tend to be good. I want to grab the chest right over this way, right here. All right, just food. This is a food chest. It seems like there's some, gen there's several generic chests in this. The food chest is one of them. It's actually good. It's a good, it's a good, well-balanced chest. Okay, let's head up this way. Should be something. I really like the jump boost. Makes my life easier. Okay, got a lava pool right up here. Interesting. And I see some bedrock. That's always an interesting sign. probably something in here. Uh, we probably should also grab those diamonds from earlier. I don't really have a pickaxe to do that, though. So I might do that off camera. We'll see. I really should be bringing around an iron pick with me with, four, oh, with a silk touch on it. You know what? I'm going to go back home and grab that real quick. I get this chest. Okay, good. Oh, there's some iron right here. Wait, is this another cave? This is another one of those iron caves. Interesting. Oh, go wait. Alright. Okay, well, I'm definitely showing this. <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay. Um, that's bad. That's very bad. I want that chest. Whatever is in it has got to be valuable. Uh, not really. Okay. Yep. And cut. All right, everybody. Welcome back. So I went to the base. I got our iron pickaxe. I actually died along the ways. You'll probably notice that I'm back at level 7. <laughs> A witch managed to whack me with their, their potion and... I died of fall damage on the way home. Quite a miserable death, if I'm being honest. Um, but I'm safe, so that's nice. Uh, I'm very cautious here. I'm tempted to grab that chest. I'm going to wait on it. I know it's not trapped, but still. Uh, let's see. I know there, was some, there were some diamonds. Here they are. OK, this is what I wanted. Uh, this is why I brought the pickaxe. It uh, doesn't look like that I got any extra from that. That's okay. Or I, I got one extra. But not that many. Let's go ahead and see what we get in here. Oh, sweet. I will take the regen. That's actually very handy. If we get hit with a cave spider or something like that, we're chugging that immediately. I'm surprised none of this has, like, blown up yet. I'm fairly certain some of it has. Oh, look at that down there. I kind of want that. Uh, how about we do this? Right, I'm going to shoot the skeleton first. 
Oh, sorry, that's a zombie. I'll, I'll hit the spiders once. I want... Oh, there is a skeleton. Never mind. I want that, whatever that is. Nope! Okay, that was really bad. Where's the... Where's the skeleton? Oh, there they are. Okay. Nice. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow, that's a lot of good stuff. Go ahead and grab it. Go. Go back up. And now would be the time to speed up the footage. Yes, I remember too. <laughs> Let's go. Blood the water. We fun stuff. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm going high. Woohoo. Look at me. Go out the waterfall. All right, boom. We're back up. I wish I had that jump boost. The jump boost does not last long enough, I'm telling ya. I should really have brought some jump boost potions with me. Never think it's useful, and then you have a few situations with mountains where jump boost is actually extraordinarily handy. Dungeon 5, Three Peaks. Ah, oh, it must be below in this grave. Oh, we were already up here earlier. Oh, there's a door up there. I didn't even notice it. That's crazy. There we go. Oh, that's a trap. They see I'm trying to grave rob, so they punish. Good play. Alright. Oh, spawner right here. There is no longer a spawner right here. Okay. Hopefully this dungeon's not too, too long. Wait, is that really the end? Was that it? You really just needed to go to the peak and you got it? Oh boy. I think that's it. That was it. Surprisingly simple. Got some strength. Oh wow, that's a really great. Oh no, I thought that was efficiency six. I was like, that's really great. We need to use that from here on out. No, it's just a regular old efficiency two. Nothing too spectacular. There was something I wanted to check out. I'm trying to remember. I was up here at the peaks and I was thinking, we should really check that out. I know we never really explored that. What was in here? Nothing, okay. Yeah, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go over and explore that section real quick. See if there's anything over there. Might be interesting. Oh, I want that. Ah, whatever. We can use the regen potion if we need to. Alright. Really wish I once I know I've said this a million times, but an elytra would be really great right now. Like the more I play this map, the more I think that speed running it would be kinda neat. The only problem is the Enderman. That really is the only big issue. What if that lightning was scripted or not? No, it's actually raining. Okay, cool. Uh, we should check out the clouds, too. That might be another interesting thing to do sometime soon. We have semi-checked that out, but not completely. All right, let's go explore a tiny bit. Is there anything in this lake right here? I know this developer tends to like hiding stuff under his lakes. We could also go back and check the ship out. There's a lot of things we could do right now. Yeah, earlier you'll remember there was a gas spawner here. Completely wrecked us. We got some, this is the skeleton protection Mach 1, I believe. So nothing too fancy, which is a bummer. Some of those explodey creepers. Wonder if there's anything down this way. Oh, this is interesting, actually. 
there's a little bit of a uh, there's a little bit of stuff right here. Yeah, if we actually go up to the clouds, that'd be a long ways though. Might be something to do after we finish the series. Hello. I know this is one of the later dungeons as well. It's not super duper late, but it is a later dungeon. Is that something over there? I can't tell. I think we would have checked it out already. All right, we got that right there. Go, get out of here. Kind of interested. No. All right. Well, it's evident that mobs don't like me being out here, so I think we just got to go inside. Toxic layer. Oh, interesting. So this isn't an official dungeon. This is one of those mini dungeons that you end up finding, and it's it's got some useful loot in it. We should check it out quick, quick. Just see if we can get any good items. Oh, nuts. Nope, nope, nope. If we got cave spiders in here. I don't want none of that. No cave spiders for me. Yeah, whatever. We should check it out a little bit. Just see if there's anything worthwhile. Anything remotely worthwhile. Oh, this goes down. Oh, holy smokes. Check out all those emeralds. That's a lot of emeralds. I might pick on me, too. Holy smokes! No way! And I said I didn't want to go here. Dude, this is... This is perfect. Check it out. We got a little bit of everything in here. Let's go ahead and put some of this away. We're not going to have enough room in our inventory for all this epicosity. I wonder if the other section is just like this. We can probably mine through here, right? To get back out. Yeah, this goes to the other side. These skull chests tend to be pretty good, so maybe we get something good here too. No! Okay, we're good. I was worried the skulls might blow up. I guess not. All right, we're gonna retreat temporarily. I'm gonna mine all this stuff. Don't worry, guys. I might even do it. Uh, I might even do a speed up of that. This episode might require a lot of editing. <laughs> okay, we got enough torches to go through and light the rest of this place up. Hopefully we don't have creepers. Creepers are going to be our main threat here. Yeah. Because these guys just will blow up. And then you'll never hear them again. Because they'll destroy everything. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So that goes around. Neat. So there's actually three little offshoots right here. We don't really need this. If I'm being real. It's a basic items chest. And we have... Pretty advanced items from the loot here. I'm going to leave that chest for a little while. Uh, there's a spawner right up here. Boom. Goodbye. All right, we're going to grab the loot, and then we're going to go check out that secret cave. So this place has some really, really nice gold armor. This chest has some wolves and some bones. This chest right here does not actually contain that much value. It's okay though. Let me go check out what we got in our, our uh, transporter right here. 
and see if I can compact some stuff. Yeah, there we go. And I don't think there's anything else I want to get rid of from here, so... Actually, we can combine the cobblestone, but we'll do that if we don't have enough space for everything here. Right, we check this chest out. Do we check this one? I think we did. We snagged this one. All right, time to actually reveal the what we get from this. You know, I'm not going to grab too much iron here. I've already got some iron at home. This will just this cave will just serve as a reminder of well we can come here anytime and get some iron. Um, I say that as I'm grabbing some. <laughs> I really want some, but <laughs> oh boy, we've already got plenty at home. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab the emeralds here. Those are the other big thing I want, if possible. Yeah, right here we got a bunch of emeralds. So if we can find a way to get those, that'd be handy. Um. I just want to grab the emeralds and get out of here, in all honesty. So where are those emeralds? I thought I was building right around them. There they are. What I really should do is come out here and just clothe the emeralds in blocks. That way when I actually mine all of them, no water will flow in. Just like this. Alright, so now we should be good. We should be good to go. No water flow, just emeralds. And with these we can buy all sorts of overpowered loot. Emeralds allow access to the best loot in the game. Or some of, they allow for some really good stuff. I shouldn't say the best loot in the game. They just have some good, really good results. Okay, we're going to head back out the way we came into this cave initially. Oh, there's a creeper spawn over there. Didn't even notice. It's really interesting what you find when you go back through, like, the opposite direction. Because the developer will put stuff in plain sight. But you don't really notice unless you turn back around and look at it. Let's head home, place the monument on him. I'd say this is pretty good. Pretty good haul. And we're getting some XP, so we can use the enchant table again soon. Grab these bushels. It was pretty good. I was not expecting to come home with a ton of diamonds. We could make diamond uh, uh, armor if we wanted, really, at this point in time. Maybe not a full set, but quite a few pieces. Because I've already got some diamonds at home. Oof. We need blocks. Do I have a pearl? No. Alright. Let's head home. Oh, look at this little secret right here. Didn't even notice this before. Oh, I'll take the torches. There we go. It's a lot of bookshelves I wish I had seen earlier. I wouldn't have had to make any. Alrighty. Looks like we're back home at this point, guys. So at the end of this episode, we have approximately over a stack of emeralds. That is absolutely insane. As well as 20... We could make a full set of diamond armor. Straight up, we could make a full set of diamond armor. That would be a real power move just to make a full set of diamond armor this early in the game. I'm not sure we're supposed to obtain it at this point, but whatever. Before we end the episode, we've got to do the customary thing of placing the wool. Here we go. Yellow Corp. Ba bang That's five wools down. 
and 11 more to go. Thank you all very much for watching. Let me know if this episode was worth your time. If it was, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Until next time, don't forget to contribute and make the most of your day.